premieres on AMC Plus on Thursday. Congrats on the show. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. Uh, the show is a, it's a, it's a serial killer whodunit. Uh, it's, it's also kind of weirdly a comedy. Um, and I play a detective who is trying to find uh, who's behind these six bodies which are stitched together to make one uh, rag doll. Ooh. So there's this horrifying oh God, thing. So radical. Uh, and um, at the same time, there's a kill list that uh, appears at the same time, and my name is on the kill list. So we're trying to find out who the, all these bodies are and also um, how to stop the people on the list getting killed, including myself. It's a brilliant show, brilliantly directed by Toby McDonald, who I think is a fantastic director. But you, yourself, in real life, you just had a, a, an actual brush with crime. Oh, yeah. What yeah. happened? Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple of days ago... I'm so glad I get to tell this story. Uh, uh, a couple of days ago, I arrested someone. When, where? Here? In King's Cross Station. No. Yeah. So, go on, talk us through. What so, happened? I was leaving the platform, and I was, uh, I had my head in, uh, in other things. And this, uh, this woman was walking up the stairs uh, ahead of me. And this guy came from behind the stairs and just yoink, took the iPhone out of the pocket. And I was like, oh, it's a little bit of hilarious banter between friends, because it was so obvious. And then I immediately, in like one second, I became aware that um, they didn't know each other. And so I grabbed him and I said, hey, you've got a phone. And I, I grabbed her and I said, he's got your phone, just so you know. And he didn't... He didn't and then he looked at me and I looked at him and he kind of went white. And there was a moment where I was like, how is this going to end? And then from all around me, like 10 voices shouted, freeze, it's the police! And I had interrupted uh, an undercover sting no. for a big, big drugs operation. No. And I just, just had done a, a citizen's arrest in the middle of it. Wow. Um, so I did kind of ruin the drug sting, um, which was bad. <laughs> but here I did you are save... with the police. Look there at I you am here. with the police. Scotland Yard. Um, wow. Done. Yeah. So I saved one person's phone. Well, well done, Henry. That is a Thank wonderful you. thing to do. Vigilante justice. Uh, you know, is my just what he name? does. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's, That's just, it. It's just a Wednesday. Now, go. I want to talk to you about this. The other day yes. at work, I got an incredible gift from you. Yes, uh, I can't I, wait to hear what you think. absolutely loved it. Winnie was diving in like you've never seen really? anybody dive in. Oh, nice. Winnie was I love that. The best really? seal of approval you can get from Winnie. Do you want to guess what, it, what this is? They should guess what this is. They They'll never, never guess. Know. We could give them a billion years. They wouldn't <laughs> guess. All I can tell you is this, right? The equivalent of a five-star review in the New York Times is if you get two of these from Winnie, right? So yes. Winnie tried. So you've got a new company yes. called Goodles, yes. which are noodles. Winnie, what's the review? Big shakes, yeah. 100%. Wow. But talk to me about this. Why, why did you do this? Why, why noodles? Uh, first of all, with Goodles, we're launching it uh, in two weeks, November 16th, as I'll tell you a short anecdote. Go on. Another one. <laughs> So, when I was six years old, I have my aunt and uncle, when they used to come visit us in Israel from the United States, they used to give everyone gifts that they brought from the States. You know what they got me every time they come for a visit? A bag filled with boxes of mac and cheese. Right. That's how much I'm, I love mac and cheese. Uh huh. And for years, I've been looking for like a better option because it's, it's such a crap. Right? Sure, yeah. And You're I looking was thinking, for something like, with good uh, ingredients. There, yeah. exactly, something that is better, good for you, gooder. Um, and when I couldn't find any, we just co founded a company that uh, re engineered the noodle, and it's a different recipe that is. The tastes exactly like the old mac and cheese that we yeah. all some know. Of Go some but of it's these. actually good for you. Yeah. High on protein, high on nutrition. It's like the best. I will say, we get sent a lot of stuff to the show at points. I never heard people going crazy about things that came through. The response to the goodles Yay. was absolutely huge. Was so we so wish you happy. well with that. Thank if it's you. made Winnie happy, it makes all of us Winnie happy. Will She's send really you more. the ticking <laughs> clock here. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guests this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to uh, both of our, our guests. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do it. Uh, Wednesday evening, uh, 11 p.m., yeah. uh, perhaps somewhere just outside of Croydon, an old hotel, yeah. 1866. Uh, pocket watch, uh, some form of com comfortable outfit. 
uh, the sound of a ticking clock in the distance, a parakeet ruffling its feathers, and a creak in the floorboards just outside the door of the room you're in. What are you doing? Wow, uh, that felt so good. Um... Um... Am I playing Sherlock Holmes in the Smash Irregulars <laughs> show, The Irregulars? OK, so there's that. There's that answer, Carl. I'm out for a jog. It's a beautiful night. Just the kids are all asleep. The eight kids that I have back in <laughs> the 18th century, they all asleep. Um, and I went for a jog. Reg? It's crazy, but those are the exact answers I was looking for. They are absolutely <laughs> correct. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Henry Lloyd Hughes. Carl Goddard, everybody. Stick around. Tori Kelly's here when we come back. <laughs>